a defense, a shield, a fortification, security, safeguard, and invulnerability. Something that keeps a person or thing from being harmed or lost. We all need this. Protection. So today's moments of inspiration is on. Protection. Let us not let the trials of the moment strip us of the memory of God's protection. The safest place in all the world is in the will of God. The safest protection in all the world is in the name of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you stray from Jesus' presence, he longs for you to come back. He weeps that you're missing out on his love, protection, and provision. Mm -hmm. Those who walk with God find true shelter and the safest protection in him. Amen. Just as the rules of the road are for our benefit and protection, Amen. so are God's commands. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. An ounce of obedience mm-hmm. is worth a pound of protection. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Father God. It's the duty of all Christians to acknowledge the divine intervention of Almighty God, to obey Him, His will, to be grateful for his benefits and humbly implore his protection and favor. And to take with us, God's house is a place of peace. With time you will learn where to go for nourishment, where to hide for protection, and where to turn for guidance. Hmm? God's protection is unlimited. God's protection for his people is limitless and can take many forms. David categorized God's care in five military symbols. God is like one, a rock, that can't be moved by anyone who would harm him. Two, a fortress or a place of safety where the enemy can't follow. God is like three, a shield that comes between us and harm. The strength of our salvation, four and five, a stronghold above all our enemies. If you need protection, look to God. God's protection is certain. Jesus warned that in the coming persecutions, his followers would be betrayed by their family members and friends. Christ, Christians of every age have had to face this possibility. It's reassuring to know that even when we feel completely abandoned, Mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit will stay with us. He will comfort us, Mm -hmm. protect us, give us the words we need. This assurance can give us the courage and hope to stand firm for Christ no matter how difficult the situation. God's protection is for eternity. Jesus never said to his believers that they would be exempt from physical harm or death during the persecutions. Remember that most of the disciples were martyred. Rather, he did say that none of his followers would suffer spiritual or eternal loss. On earth, everyone will die. But true believers in Jesus Jesus will be saved for eternal life. Thank you, Father God. Christians need spiritual protection from the evil world system. The world's ruler, Satan, bombards us continuously with temptations and pressures, pressures that are that will weaken our testimony. Yes. And if and and turn us away from the Lord if we yield to them. God himself provides us with all the protection we need. Yes. He stands between us and the enemy. Yes. He, is a, he is our shield and fortress. Yes. We must apply 
this protection through prayer, reading and meditating on the Bible, faith, right thinking, fellowship with other believers, and depending on the power of the Holy Spirit. These disciplines will keep the world from getting through to us. When we are overwhelmed, peace and protection are ours through God's Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, in me you may have peace, and in this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. The seasons of life require that sometimes uh, we enter sometimes a period of dormancy. We are not dead, but we feel that we've become invisible. During such times, we may feel useless, and we may wonder whether God will ever use us again. But periods like this are for our protection and preparation. When the time is right and conditions are safe, God will call us once again to service and worship. When we think of the fact that Jesus called himself the door, we gain a new appreciation of this metaphor. When the sheep enter the pen, they enter a safe place protected from thieves and predators. For believers, the great shepherd is the door between us and our enemy. Once we enter the sheepfold, we can forget all dangers and threats. We can enjoy divine forgetfulness and rest in the protection of the great shepherd. Amen? Amen. We thank the Lord for his word thus far. And now we'll be blessed with one more musical selection. And then we will have a word from our pastor. Pray that all hearts and minds open to receive what thus saith the Lord this morning. <laughs> 